Hey everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me and Louise. So let me start off by saying some of these videos are going to be out of order now because I got a new collection in and I want to get it up. Um, so this is going to go up tomorrow. Meanwhile, I think I'm still in the middle of Valentine's Day looks till the end of February, something like that. So with tomorrow being the last day, I actually have a video up for that, but we're going to have to push it, which means it's just going to be out of order. It just is what it is. But this is the look we're going to do. This is going to be kind of a long video. I apologize, but I'm not a makeup artist, so it takes me a while. But let's get started. So the collection that I am talking about that I got in. So excited. Glamlight and the Chucky. Okay. Now, I am wearing the blush, the eyeshadow palette, and the Chucky lipstick. I bought the whole collection. And let me tell you what. It is adorable absolutely positively adorable so this is the chucky lip kit you pull it out and the lipstick and the lip liner this is the one we'll be using this is the the duo the liquid lick the liquid liner and the pencil liner i did use the pencil liner for my waterline um we'll get to that later liquid liner i don't use my granddaughter will be excited for that one Although, right, she used to love Chucky. Now she's terrified. And <laughs> I don't know how she's going to handle this. I really don't. We got the um, the Chucky, the Tiff lip liner and lipstick. I won't be using it today, but I will say that these are cute also because, and I like that you can tell them apart just by looking at them because it's got Tiff's picture on the lip liner and the lipstick and it's got the Chucky on the Chucky so see so you can tell them apart my daughter had already used the Tiff one of course my younger daughter but she, it looks good on her not so much on me but like I said this one of course it's got the Chucky and then there's the lipstick which I'm wearing I put a lip gloss on them I don't mind them, the lip liner or the lipstick. To be fair, I don't. I like them. Um, some people say that they're kind of rough and and dry. Uh, I mean, maybe, but not really. I, I don't know. It lasts a long time. I mean, I, I, I enjoy them, so it is what it is. For the price point and all that, like, it matches up to being worth it, you know? Uh, let's see. What else do we got? Oh, the blush. Okay, here's a thing for you. I found different than other people's things that I've seen. So here's the mirror. Absolutely adorable. Look at this. Like, it changes. Ain't that cute? I love that. I love when they do that. Alright, so now you all look at this and tell me. Does this look like two different blushes? Because I have two different blushes. These are different, okay? Everybody else is like, oh, they're the same. No, they're not. These are different. Now, I don't know what they have. Mine says, bad gals, good guys. This one is a more coral blush. This one's a more pink blush. This is the one I'm wearing, okay? But I literally had to go outside and, like, I looked and looked and looked at these I had my fiance, I had my children. I'm like, am I seeing things? Because like, I was expecting them both to be the same. I really was. They're not. And I will swatch them for you to show. Okay, there they are. Those are two different colors. More coral, that's the bad gals, and that's the good guys. But I thought they were supposed to be the same. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's that one, and there's that one. Now, those are two different colors. I have no idea what they will look like on the cheek, whether they look the same or not, but as far as swatch-wise, these are two different colors. That is what it is. So whether I got lucky or whether it was a mistake, I have no idea, but I found that to be very interesting, to be honest. Now, 
to the main attraction, the palette. Look at that, that is freaky right there. Is that not freaky looking? And it says crazy in love. Like that is so cool how they did that. So cool. All right, and then this is the palette. Now, I will say right off the bat, I knew this wasn't going to be my color story, but I will say, I kind of like this look. I'm not into these dark, grungy type of looks, because I just don't think they look good on me. Um, what did my daughter say to me? My younger daughter said, well, I think my other daughter, my older daughter, would look better in this look because she's more angry. You're more like pink and bubbly. I was like, can't argue with you there. Can't argue with you there. And I, I would agree. This is more of a grungy, goth, dark, smoky look, I guess is what you're gonna get out of these, which to go with the theme m makes perfect sense, okay? So I don't knock it for that. Like. Just because it's not my color story does not mean it's bad by no means. And it's not bad. And I actually am enjoying the look that I created. Which says a lot. Because I've used palettes like these before where they weren't my color story. And I didn't like the look. I didn't feel good in the look. I didn't think it looked good on me. This one don't look bad. To be fair. So let's go ahead and get started. The first shade we're going to go into is Let's Be Friends. This one right here. So, I really don't know why I feel okay in this look, to be honest. Like, what is so different about it. But, I really don't feel uncomfortable wearing it, to be fair. I don't. Obviously, it's not, like, my everyday look, by no means. But, it's not like it's a bad look, either, you know? We'll say it kind of went in a little heavy handed there. But we can blend. Might have to blend for a little bit. <laughs> I didn't mean to go in so heavy handed. I meant to tap that off. But I got into talking, and that's what happens. But I was excited to see that I had two different blushes in my blush thing. Because so far, the videos that I've watched, everybody's had the same color. And I don't understand. Like, I'm so confused. But at the same time, it's like, do I care? I got two different blushes, you know? I mean, I'm hoping they do look different on the cheek. And I would have to assume they would. Right? I mean, you would have to assume... Because one is more coral and one's more pink. But that doesn't necessarily mean it will be. Alright. So even though I went in really heavy, it blended out really nice. Although I probably took it a little too far over, but that's okay. We can we can fix later. It's not going to be perfect, y'all, because these are just not colors that I'm used to wearing. But at the same time, I just wanted to play, so I didn't really care. The next shade we're going to go into is Play Pals, which is this one right here. We're going to knock it off this time. And I'm going to start to darken up this outer corner. I mean, honestly, palettes like this scare me. I'm not going to lie. Because, I, you know, I am, I am more girly. I am more of a light, pinky type of look. I am. But when it comes to these deep, dark colors, they scare me because <clears throat> I know how quickly it can go from bad to worst. 
But at the same time, I will say, out of playing with these, they're pretty easy to use. And I do appreciate that. Because, you know, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't have, like, the thought process they have. <coughs> so things don't really go the way I think they're going to go because I'm not knowing what I'm doing. We're going to take Till Death Do Us Part, the shade right here. And we're going to run it under the lower lash line. And like I said, all these shades are very pigmented. Okay, so, but yet they are also very, very blendable. So you can go in with a heavy hand and they will blend out or you can start out, you know, slow and build them because they're buildable too. And if I could recommend anything, it would be to start out with a small amount and just build it up because... Like I said, any, any brand, any dark shadow can get out of hand quick. And very few brands, you're going to be able to, tough, you know, blend it. But this particular one, so far with the shades that I have used, you are able to blend if need be. Some of these shades are just gorgeous. I will try to swatch at the end. I'm hoping anyway to I mean I don't want to carry the video on too long and I can guarantee it's going to be a long one just because well it's me <laughs> I'm the problem because I just don't know what I'm doing y'all to be fair but I, I mean a lot of people don't but maybe Chucky is like your favorite movie or something you know I'm going to go into, I like to be hugged, this one right here, very easily, <laughs> and again, definitely knocking off, because dark, very, very dark, and we're just going to darken up the outer portion here, just a little bit, we don't want it to get out of hand, and I actually like this little Morphe brush here, to be honest. Especially like with my hooded eyes, it works so good. So good. Going back in, little tap, knocking it off. And I know a lot of people want pigment, not me. I would much rather have something I have to build than something that's just too pigmented. But usually the ones that like it pigmented aren't scared of these colors or aren't scared of color in general. And they know what they're doing. And I don't, you know. I have no idea what I'm doing with makeup. I'm guessing. And I promise you when I say this, I'm guessing. And sometimes I luck out and it is right you know like it works but other times it don't and that's the luck of the draw really it's just the name of the game but if you're a makeup artist then obviously you know what you're doing and that's great because that's your profession so you know I, I want you to know what you're doing. I want you to do good. But for everyday people, you know, we need things that will help us. And we want to participate using the same, you know, stuff that makeup artists are using. So we can get the look that they are, you know, somewhat get the looks, you know. Is it going to be perfect? Absolutely not. I'm going to go back into Play Pals, but as long as it's close for me, I'm okay. I don't need it to be spot on. I just need it to be 
somewhat right and looks good and I feel comfortable wearing that's the biggest thing is comfortable wearing it because if you're not comfortable wearing it then it ain't gonna do you no good till death does part again I'm gonna take on the lower lash line And I will play with this palette a little more because these shades do, I'm not going to lie, you know, this palette isn't going to be for everybody. And it may be for people that like the movie, but you know, want it for that sake. If you're looking, you know, for it as a makeup product to use and get use out of, you know, this color story just may not be it due to the fact of it's so deep and dark and pigmented and all that good stuff you know and there's nothing wrong with that other than if you don't know what you're doing like myself but so far I mean I give credit that they they really nailed the theme of this uh, I think and the colors are so far easy to use all right now we're going to go into this shade well shoot I dropped the mirror let me go back into this one make sure it's blended good I feel like though I'm like I don't know let's go into the shade want to play oh lord made a mess again it's this one right here and we're gonna put this in the inner corner and then maybe a fourth of the way on the lid but mostly because I don't want it too dark right here so, and I'm not going to spray these, which means you can get a little bit of fallout if you're not careful. So, know that. I'm going to try to be careful, mind you. Whether that's the case or not, I don't know, but we're going to try. Then I'm going to pat it onto the lid. And this is a very pretty silver shade. I really feel like they they did justice to this collection. They really did. And the fact that it came out like as a Valentine's Day collection, I think is just a twist to Valentine's Day. And the fact that it doesn't have red and pinks in it, like in white, like that's awesome like it's just so, like I'm like just man and I get it's not for everybody and I get that in a sense it is kind of gimmicky but even if it is like the products aren't the products they release are really really good I don't know how people have issues with them I really don't I think I got that dark enough. I don't know. I'm scared the inner corner I don't have is pigmented as the other side. But, like, even if you just put this color all over the lid, I feel like it would brighten this look up a so much, but we're not. Don't worry. <laughs> we're going to go into the shade issue 666. 
Okay. You know, it's been a long time since I've watched this show. Or movies. I have quite a few of them. Like, isn't there like three or four Chuckies or something? It's been a while. But my mom loves Chucky. And the show. and uh, Or the movie, I mean. So that's how I watched it. Was my mom... Plus, I had a younger brother, so, you know, it was nice to use. As in, like, his doll was going to get him. Because this was released right around the time. If you all remember, let me know. But I remember the, um, well, of course, I had, like, Cabbage Patch kids and stuff. But they released a, um, My Buddy doll. Do you remember that? My Buddy my buddy and me I'm not a singer anyway they released that and my brother got one <laughs> well you already know the torment I mean me and my brother didn't get along so you know but it was fun to torment him when this show came or this movie came out because you know my buddy didn't stick along didn't stick around long after that movie. I will say that. He was scared to death. And it never made sense to me why he would watch these movies. See, I quit watching scary movies because they just scared me. You know, common sense says if you're scared of something, you're not going to watch it, right? So, you know, sometimes I have common sense. Sometimes I don't. This particular situation, I have common sense, right? So... I stopped watching scary movies with my mother because, you know, she, uh, she loves scary movies and shows and all that good stuff. But I quit watching my brother Dan because he's a mommy's boy and, uh, he continued to watch them with her. Why? I don't know. But then he'd be scared to death and I'm like, there's no way. There's an, uh, the other movie is Candyman. Oh my Lord. My mom had to take every mirror down, pretty much, because my brother was so scared. They took the one in his room out of his room completely. But again, you know, I had to torment him. So what did we do? Me and my friend decided to take nail polish, go in the dark nail polish, and write on the back of his door. Or maybe it wasn't nail polish. What was it? Oh, glue. It was glow in the dark glue. And you couldn't see it. Okay. It was clear. It was really good. Okay. And we wrote, help me on his door in like real thick lines and stuff. And then that night when they turned out the light and shut his door. Oh, the fun. I was a mean little thing, I think. But you know he he was he deserved it. I don't care. You would think I'd have remorse. I don't. I really don't. Cause he did stuff to me. It's not like you know. It was just me doing all the mean things. No, no. But they, you know, it was kind of funny. If you ask me personally, I thought it was funny. But, you know, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't funny. I still think it was. Alright, now we're going to go into the color. Free Hugs. And this is a... Okay, so this is a black with, like, red sparkles in it. It's not sparkles, says that it's glitter. And then this is a, just pure black, and, it, and it's Free Hugs. And I will say, this is pretty black. And what I'm going to do is low, line the lower lash line and the top lash line. And the other thing is, is I'm not going to use that liquid liner. But if I was, I would use it here, what, what I'm doing now. But look how black this black is, you all. I mean, it is black. A good black, but black. 
So you kind of do want to be very careful with it, especially if you're using it like as a shadow or something. Know that this is very pigmented black. But we're going to line everything and then blend it out. And then I'm going to use the pencil for the waterline, which I'll show in a minute. So you can see how it goes on. And it's a sharpen, sharpen pencil. The lip liners are also sharpened pencils, just so you know. I don't mind sharpened pencils, to be honest. I, if anything, I pr probably kind of prefer them because you can always sharpen them and get a nice point to them, personally. But I know some people just don't like them for some reason, but teach their own. The mirror here is okay as far as like quality wise to use. It's no different than like Color Pops mirrors or anything like that. I personally prefer my Bell mirror that I have. But I mean, everybody has their own preference, so to say. But it's not bad at all, by no means. And I don't know if you can see this black going on or not, but man, it's dark. And I like that about it, actually. Because I prefer to line with a shadow. Because 9 out of 10, if I use a liquid, it's going to bleed. That's number one. Number two... If you mess up with it, it's harder to fix. And I just... Oh, no. You didn't see it. Shoot. I messed up. And then, number... Where was I? So, it's easier to fix shadow than it is a liquid. Liquid bleeds, 9 out of 10. Oh, and I shake. So it's just all over the place. Where with this, I can, you know, pick it up and take it down in a sense. Okay. Let me go back into the purple, I think. Is that where I messed up? And I did hit my face with that black, so now I got a black line. But at least it's shadow, because could you imagine if it was the liquid liner? What a mess it'd be. And with shadow, if you do get a fallout, A, you can brush it away, or B, blow. I should have that off, though, before it decides it just wants to sit on my cheek. Mm, it looks like that's probably about as good as I can get that. I don't think it. Mm. Trying to cover it up. Without it being too obvious. I really like these brushes. From... Jacqueline Hill that she launched with Morphe. I really, really do. There's just, I just like them. That's all I can say, really. I don't know why, but I do, and that just is what it is. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into Till Death Do, do Us Part, so that shade I used on my lower lash line, and just sort of blend that black out a little bit. Like, I don't want to lose the color there, by no means. I want to keep that purple down there. But I definitely got to blend that out a little bit because it's just a little bit too dark. Kind of made it.
And I will say, now looking at my eye, the liner on this side has came off a little bit on my waterline and gathered in my inner corner. So that's not good. So I don't know about that one. Be most liners do kind of do that though to me, unfortunately. ColourPop doesn't and Urban Decay doesn't. Marc Jacobs didn't, but they're no longer around, which sucks. But, you know, this here is the black liner. So it has Chucky on it, written on it, and then the lid says Glam Light. All right, so I'm just going to put this on my waterline on the top and bottom. It does look like it held on the top of my waterline up on my other eye, just not the bottom. I look yeah so for some reason it just doesn't want to hold here it's been a while since I've applied a black liner though I'm really feeling my high school days right now y'all for sure alright Finish that black liner or black eyeshadow up in there. I'm going to be honest too in saying that. I have other palettes that look like this, okay, that are deep and dark. And here's my thing with this, okay? This is where I'm kind of really like, hmm. Okay, let's curl the lashes. Where's my lash curler? Um, all right, so I have other palettes, right? And I've done looks with them. And I've never really cared for the looks like I've said, right? And I'm wondering why this one I am. Is it because I like the theming of it? Or is it just that this color selection has a little more? Because the, the palette I'm thinking of is like um, Melt Cosmetics. Like if you start combining some of their palettes, that's what I'm thinking about. And I never create a good look with them, right? And they're just as dark and deep as these. But yet, there's something at the same time different because I kind of really do like this look, how it turned out. And I'm not scared of it. Y'all, I don't know. I, I used a lash primer on this one, and now I can't find my lash primer. I tell you what, I am definitely, definitely an unorganized person, for sure. I mean, I just had the thing, like, just had it. And I have no idea where it's at now. Probably due to the fact that I drop everything, number one. Number two, I'm always getting up and down, up and down, up and down. Because of my children needing something or wanting something. And then I can, I have to go do that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is since I don't have the primer, or I'm overlooking it somehow, some way. Alright, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to use any kind of primer. 
because I, I just, I mean, I don't know where I put it, and, you know, we ain't got all day to just sit here and be looking around aimlessly trying to find it. So, with that said, I'll just use this brush primer. I'm still looking for you. I know, I gotta stop. All right, so we'll just use this slash primer. Of course, you know I'm gonna find it as soon as I do this. This is the um, Lancome lash primer. Because I really wanted my lashes to be like looking halfway decent because I felt like this look deserved it, you know? Really, this look deserves false lashes, but we all know that's not going to happen. Wish it could. But it's not. But that's okay. Alright. So we put that on the top lashes and then for the uh, bottom lashes, I'll just use the Lancome mascara, and I am dropping every single thing you could possibly drop down here, y'all. It's just like crazy what I have dropped down here, seriously. So did you all buy this collection? Did you all get it yet? Have you gotten it? Like, I'm curious. I want to know. Because, like... Was it what you thought it would be? Did you get the two blushes the same? Different? Like, I'm curious. Because, like, everybody I've watched has gotten, like, the same blush in their thing. And I'm telling you, I swatched it in front of you all. This is two different blushes in mine. So... Why did I get it? Like, at first I thought, ooh, I'm special. Maybe I won something type of thing. Because, like, I mean, everybody I've watched says they're the same blush. It was a missed opportunity, which I knew they said it was the same because of trademarks or something. But, yeah, here I am sitting with two different blushes. And I believe that theirs both said good guys on both of their blushes. And here I have one that says bad gals and good guys. So I'm like, wait a second. So that tells me right there because that says good guys. That says bad gals, which means that's two different blushes. Oh, that's cute. It says our Chucky and Glam Light all in one blush duo is all you need to complete your killer makeup looks. This silky smooth powder blush adds a pop of color and extra dimension to the skin for perfect doll-like effect that's a good description the back okay so it says legends for the eyeshadow palette says legends never die in honor of celebrating the 35th year anniversary of chucky chucky and tiffany have teamed up with glamlight to create the most killer makeup collection in history Inspired by the infamous killer doll love story, the Chucky and Glam Light palette is all you need to create endless, endless to die for makeup looks. It's time to blend for your life and play to the end. That's cute. Uh, I didn't even read the descriptions. Oh, that's adorable. What do these say? Okay. The Chucky Lipstick. Give your lips a killer treat with the Chucky and Glam Light lip, clip, lip Kit. This dangerous duo includes an ultra creamy lipstick and a velvety lip liner. Then it says for the Tiff, well, hello, friends. The Chucky and Glam Light Tiff Lip Kit is all you need to recreate Tiff's signature lip combo. This dangerous duo includes an ultra creamy lipstick and a velvety lip liner. Cute. The eyeliner says... Introducing our Chucky and Glam Light Eyeliner Duo Kit. Two of a kind, literally. This duo comes with one matte black liquid eyeliner and one matte black eyeliner pencil. Both liners allow you to draw precise lines for a defined look. 
or softly smudged for a more grungy look. Your eyeliner can be as sheer, sharp as a knife. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Those are cute. I don't have the blush box though, but I already read on it off of that, so it's probably the same thing. But how adorable. Okay, let's go ahead and, or the mirror's over there too, so. I think the mirror on the front, what did it say? Love never dies or something. Or romance is dead. Something like that. Alright. So for the top lashes. I'm using my YSL Lash Clash. And then for the bottom. We're going to use the Lancome. Death and Seals. I mean, I think Lamlight really, really, really nailed this collection. The descriptions, the artwork, the um, color stories. I'm trying not to mess up. I mean, I'm trying to give this palette, like, the best that I can possibly give it as, like, not a makeup artist, right? And I think I did because I actually do feel comfortable in this look, which is so strange to me. And it took me a while, you know, to get the look together and all. But at the same time, like, it seems effortless compared to other shadows that are kind of like this that I never end up liking the look at the end you know what I mean and I just like the way they took a different route to Valentine's Day I mean I just like the whole thing to be honest with you I think that they definitely definitely nailed it I think I got all the lashes hit. I may put another coat. I don't know. We'll see. But let's go ahead with the bottom lashes. I don't think I messed up. Why am I not being able to see well in this mirror? Ow. I'm trying to wipe it off. Alright, that's a little bit better. better hmm. all right then bottom lashes and we're done so I obviously didn't use all of the pro all the shadows in this but the ones I did use are really really good from a beginner standpoint And if I had to rate this collection, I would say A plus <laughs> for sure. A plus on this collection. I think that they nailed that perfectly. No problem. Whoops. Lovely. Let me see what we can do now about swatching these lovely things. Can I get it on my whole arm, you think? Let's give it a try. All right, so the first shade is Wanna Play. Let me. Wanna Play, which is that silver. Good guys. 
Mm. It's time to play. Chucky and Tiff forever. Ooh, that's a pretty color. It's like a gun metal. Okay, and then the last shade is scarier than ever. Oh, that's a good swatch. I did good on that one. Not really. Okay. That's the first row. Let's go to the next row. So then issue 6-6. Six, six. Well, I guess I might as well just swatch them and then tell you the number or tell you the names as I go. Okay. So the purple that I already used, I use this one. Issue 666. Six, six. Make sure you can still see it. And then I like to be hugged. Play, play pals. Oh, too close, but oh well. And then it's showtime. Wow. So I got a couple of them too close. These two here are too close together, but you know, that is what it is. I'm really going down my hand or arm though. All right, and then the last shade in that one is Till Death Do Us Part. I tell you, it's hard to get these shades off. So that's the first two rows there. Yeah, I still have more of my arm to go. Plenty of room, right? Right. Oh, boy. You know, though, I do wonder about staining. Like, what do people do if when it, like, it stains their arms and stuff? Like, do they just walk around like that? I'm just curious because, like, I've never had it actually stick to my arm, thank goodness, but you never know. All right, your pal since 98. Oh gosh, that's a pretty color. He's back. Let's be friends, which I used. That was the first shade I went into. And Charles Lee Ray. And then the last shade in that row is that black. And it's called Free Hugs. And I will get it in just one second. Just want to make sure that I get everything off my name, my fingers. Because I don't want the shades to mix, number one. And number two, I want you to be able to see how black this is. Because it's black. So that is the palette. So you can definitely see that it's dark and grungy and very, I mean, it's, it's vampire-ish even like, but to me, this represents a horror show. You know what I mean? Like a scary movie type of thing in my eyes anyway. But you definitely can go like a purpley route, a brown route. I mean, basically, though, it's going to be, at the end of the day, kind of a dark look, no matter how you play it, to be honest. But overall, I mean, I think it's a gorgeous palette. I mean, look at it. Just look at that. It's beautiful. And this isn't my color story. So... And I do apologize that this video is so long. I know, I know. But 
I mean, I, I want to be thorough. I want you to see it from beginning to end. Look at this. <laughs> I'm going to have one heck of a mess, aren't I? But, you know, if I did... Because not everything is as, as simple as, you know, it's made to seem, so... And the fact that I got two different blushes, I'm just so excited. But anyway, all right, I will let you go. I definitely have spent enough of your time. I appreciate it if you did watch till the end. I hope this helped in some way, shape, or form. The final look, I think, is really pretty. Is it perfect? No. And I think that's why a dark shade scary because you can really see the flaws in it when there is a flaw um but even with that i don't think i did too bad because i'm willing to wear this look out <laughs> and i'm applying the lipstick again and i like the fact that they did do a everyday neutral shade but yet they did do a deep dark shade too almost like day to night type of thing so that's all i have for you today if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that we're notified when i upload i upload every day but sunday again i'm so sorry that it's so long it's just i'm slow it is what it is but i will see you in the next one until then stay safe and stay healthy bye